Hello guys, welcome to Drake Array Gaming. Today we're gonna to be talking about season one Cold War fixes as well as Warzone. Now, I have some new tips and tricks and things that I've found out, I've done research, and a lot of comments have helped me down below in the videos uh, with things that have worked for you guys. Now, um, season one has brought back some, some issues for some people, and some of you have not been able to play at all. We're talking about disconnected from server, scan repair fix, etc. We're gonna get into it right now. No BS, no fluff. All right, here we are inside Cold War. Obviously, see, I can get, I have it running. It's it's fixed. I stream it. I, I play it. I record. I'm recording right now with it. I'm, I'm obviously using utilizing a lot of resources on my system to do this video even. So I'm gonna show you guys my settings and what I have going on to get this game fixed and running. I'm not gonna go over kind of this. I'm gonna go over a few things that may be the same, but a lot of new things. Okay. So first off. I want to talk to you guys about some things that I, I've seen a lot of comments. I don't think a lot of you understand actually how to do certain things like update your BIOS on your computer or actually understand how to properly turn off XMP profiles and, and set your, your memory timings and, and speeds correctly in BIOS. I think a lot of you don't even know how to do that. Um, so I updating your BIOS is, is very, very important and it's something you can do by downloading the BIOS file from the manufacturer website. For instance, I can go to... Uh, my, I have a MSI uh, B450 Tomahawk, and if you just Google that and go up here to the motherboards, go into uh, BIOS here. So right here, you can download the latest, the latest file size after you or the file for it. So after you download that, you can actually just put it on a thumb drive, plug it into your computer, reboot, go into your BIOS, go into the proper settings where to update your BIOS, and you can select that thumb drive and then update the BIOS there. Um, this is really important, it has brought a lot of stability for me in Warzone and Cold War. So you wanna make sure that you do this. Now, um, another thing you can do is rolling back to a previous graphics driver setting. This has fixed the issue for some people. So I would recommend if you're trying to run a previous version of the graphics driver, you can go to nvidia.com slash download slash find. You can do a custom search here and you can bring up all the graphic driver releases and versions and try another version of your graphics card driver. This may help you tremendously and I would highly recommend it if you're having stability issues on the latest version. So make sure you do this. Now, let's talk about setting some command line perimeters within the game. So on Black Ops Cold War here, you have options, game settings. When it brings it up, uh, you have some couple different things here. So what we can do, for this works for both Modern Warfare and Warzone, uh, as well as Cold War. I have actually checked this additional command lines argument, added Direct3D11. I've also mentioned this in uh, some of my, my previous videos. So I run this in both Warzone and I run this in both uh, Black Ops. Now this helps a lot and helps try to force the DirectX3D11 stuff instead of the 12. It relieves a lot of stress and or graphic glitches and other things and errors that may happen. Another thing you can try that I also have done is I have this installed not to my main C drive. I have it installed to another hard drive completely. Uh, you may want to not try to run it off your mechanical and run it on an SSD or, or something. You may want to switch hard drives. Different hard drives have different uh, uh, driver functions and they have different uh, chip functions and things that go with them as well as firmware. So you, you, don't, really, you don't really know. So installing the game to another hard drive location has actually helped a lot of other people as well. I would highly recommend it. So we have the direct 3D command line options and we have, I actually have installed E for both Modern Warfare and Cold War. Now, um, we wanna talk about another tip that someone else had mentioned was changing the language pack in the game itself. Um, I believe it's in game settings here as well and you can change, uh, you can change the language pack. Someone toggled the language pack and it actually fixed the errors for them. Don't know why, but it did. These are new different things you can try in season one uh, other than the other things I've mentioned in my previous videos. I'm gonna have a huge list down below as well in uh, the, the pinned comment as well as the description of tons of things you can try as well as shader locations and things, but let's continue on. I'll get into that later. Uh, the next thing you wanna try uh, is setting a max frame rate in the game itself. So um, I actually run a 130 maximum graphics resolution. So let's see here. 
custom frame limit. So I'm running 130, so my, my max refresh rate on my monitor is 120. So I'm capping it at 130, and uh, that also fixed some issues and errors for me as well. So make sure you, you try that as an option. What are some other things we can try here? Um, NVIDIA control panel settings. I'll show you what I have in my NVIDIA control panel settings. Uh, if you go here in your task manager, you right click, you click NVIDIA control panel, you go to manage 3D settings, you go to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. If it's not here, add it. These are the settings that I'm actually running here for me. Image sharpening is off. Um, everything is global setting right now for it. Um, preferred refresh rate on my monitor is highest available. Vertical sync is off. I'm not running any additional options or settings. Um, there is some things here you can tweak. Shader caching, um, texture qualities, different things. You can try um, use, utilizing this. Also make sure threaded optimization is on auto or on for your CPU. So these are my settings right here that I'm using. And I'll just kind of scroll through those so that you can see them. So make sure you go in here and you check things or tweak things here that you can also try. Uh, moving right along, uh, we already talked about installing the game to another hard drive. This is a huge one that fixes, huge guys. There's so many, I've mentioned this in my previous videos, pay attention, please, please watch the whole video, okay? I'm not trying to waste your guys' time, I'm trying to help you. If you wanna help yourself, watch the video. A lot of people commented on that they were getting this error with the server disconnects, okay? This is how you fix it. I've had to comment to like 100 people to tell you guys how to fix it, but what you wanna do is go to activision.com. You wanna log into your profile, okay? You wanna go to account management, account linking, and you want to link your account by clicking here and linking. All my accounts are linked. My PlayStation account's linked. My Blizzard account's linked. My Xbox account is linked. You want to link these accounts to your Activision account. You will not have server disconnects or disconnected from server or issues anymore. This will fix it, I promise you. So make sure you guys do that on your Activision account and link it. If you don't know it, make one, figure it out, do a password request reset, do what you gotta do, link them. Um, uh, process priority, so you can also do this too. I've mentioned this before, but it really does help. Uh, if you go to right click your, your taskbar here, you go to task manager, you go to details, you find Black Ops Cold War, and you go here to you set the priority. You can set it to normal or real time or high. Try doing that, it does help a lot. I've mentioned this before. This is another quick thing you guys can try. Please try it. Um, background apps, okay? Check everything in here. Okay, go through here and check everything. I close Origin. Don't don't run MSI Afterburner. Don't run any overclocking software. Don't run any um, anything. Like uh, I'm running IQ for my headset. That's the minimal thing I run. Sometimes I don't even run my Cooler Master app. I'll, I'll turn off whatever I can. I don't run RTX Voice. I keep it very clean, very organized, very clean down here. Don't run all this junk in the background. Go in here and look at what's eating up memory resources, CPU resources. Don't run your RGB stuff and your, your wireless little nano leaf stuff and all your crazy stuff. This game is super temperamental, super touchy. My, my headset was plugged in to the charger and I unplugged it and it made the game crash. Like it's just very, very broken and I'm not unoptimized right now. Go through your system and make sure it's healthy and running right. Update all your drivers, do what you need to do, okay? So another thing you guys wanna do is go into the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Go to settings here on the gear icon and then click this button here and disable in-game overlays. In-game overlays mess with the game big time. You also wanna disable overlays in Discord by going to settings overlay and disabling in-game overlay here as well. A lot of people don't know how to turn off XMP profiles or set their memory timings or speeds or settings in their BIOS. Each BIOS is a little different. There's a lot of BIOSes out there in gaming, especially gaming motherboards like we have with game boost mode turn off or AI tweaker or whatever the heck they call it. Each BIOS is a little unique and different, but all of them have these default settings turned on where they're auto overclocking your system. You don't want to run overclocks on your CPU, your GPU, or your memory. You don't want to run XMP profiles. You don't want to be pushing your system system in any unnecessary or unstable fashion that is going to make this game unstable. Who cares about your frame rate if you can't play the game? If you get crashes, who cares about that? Get the stability first. Be smart. I'm show you right here some screenshots on how to actually set the timings, turn it off XMP and letting your memory run at its native speed and letting the game boost mode, turn those game boost modes off, let your system run in its natural state and naturally try to run the game for stability. 
All right, now, uh, my game does on reboot, on first try, on after I reboot my system and it's fresh. This game, just like Warzone Modern Warfare, has some type of memory leak issue or memory, something with the memory on, on the PCs. So my game will launch, crash once, and not crash again after that, and until I reboot. I will play for hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks, and then and once I reboot my system, the game will crash once and then never crash again. This seems to be kind of normal behavior at this point. I noticed this in Modern Warfare, Warzone, and Call of Duty Black Ops. So just take note of that. Don't panic after the first crash. Let it really kind of do its thing. It kind of learns something after it does that. I'm not sure. Now, um, this may be something you need to do as well, but uh, you may need to actually just uh, change your... Uh, memory altogether in your system you may need to literally just swap out your memory now i hate to say that you need to do that but there is a big possibility that you may need to do that i actually ordered a couple different memory modules and sticks from uh newegg.com sorry newegg and i i tested different memory modules i'm running g skill trident z ram right now intel xmp certified which i was unaware of and what you actually want to do is try to get memory that is certified for your cpu so there is ryzen certified memory profiled cpus from g skill or you can get intel specific ones so you need to pay attention to that when you're building your system and you're looking at the memory and if it's certified for amd or intel and which memory profiles and timing so that's very very important so look at your memory you may need to upgrade 16 is a minimum i run 32 i tried to go back to 16 and i got more crashes i'm running 32 gigs of g skill trident z and it's native 1866 speed with all xmp profiles turned off uh amd certified ram and i'm having great success with it now if all else fails if all else fails you guys are going to need to literally delete delete every single shader file location you need to uninstall the game you need to start over okay i would even recommend installing to another drive when you do do this but there is a ton of locations that i can show you and you're going to need to delete all of them i'm going to put all this in the description i'm going to put this all in a pinned comment okay you guys need to make sure that hidden files and folders is turned on type hidden files and folders in here show hidden files and folders click apply okay so that you can see all the folders you need to there is a slew of locations. Um, for instance, C Program Data, Activision, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, this link right here, this location, I'll put all these locations down below. There's a shader cache here. There's tons of remnants of the game everywhere, whether it's Modern Warfare, Warzone, Cold War. There's a, when you uninstall the game, there's tons of shader locations. We're talking shader locations for Nvidia, shader locations for Blizzard, shader locations for Modern Warfare, Warzone, Cold War. And we need to get rid of these and we need to delete them all after uninstalling the game. Uninstall the game, delete all these shader locations, start fresh, reboot your system, reinstall the game, let the new shaders install on the menu, don't touch anything, and then try to play the game again. If it crashes once, don't worry, play again. It'll probably be stable from that point thereafter, okay? Um, I'm trying to give you guys the ultimate guide, the latest, greatest news on how to fix this game, all these games. So. Let's go through, through some of these shader locations. Um, if I go to my PC, we go to C, um, I believe we've got Call of Duty. So we've got program data here. You've got Activision, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You got that shader location I just showed you. Um, for instance, we can go back to C Drive. We can go to program data. You can go to Blizzard, uh, Entertainment, Battle.net. You've got cache folders here as well. Crazy, they're, they're, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. We need to get rid of them. You go to C, Users, go to your username, like mine's Draco. Um, you can go to Documents. Uh, here you see Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, and Modern Warfare. You got the player folder. Now, warning, this will delete all your saved games and other data, okay? Don't get mad at me, okay? I don't really care about all that shit. I want my game to work, okay? So if you're willing to get your game working, delete all this stuff. Start over with your saved games if you're done with the campaign. Who cares about that? Um, you've got AMD cache locations, which I'll put below, as well as NVIDIA locations. I have NVIDIA right now, so I'll show you my NVIDIA cache locations. You got C, Program Data, NVIDIA Corporation, and you've got NV Cache in here. Uh, right here, NV Cache. You've got this one. You've got DirectX cache properties as well that you can delete. I'm going to show you how to delete those as well. I will put the instructions in the comment down below. But what you essentially want to do, right click your Explorer. On the drive you have it installed, click properties. So let's, let's just try to go through it right now. Let's just go through it. So let's go to uh, my PC. 
I have the game installed here. Go to properties. You want to go to general tab. You want to which we're on. You want to go to click disk cleanup. You want to check the uh, DirectX shader box folder, and you want to click OK, and you want to delete all that. Okay. There's t these are just tons and tons and tons of tips. I'm going to link to my other videos where I talk about other fixes down below. I'm going to list all these shader locations, all these tips. I'm going to even put some URLs to different sites and things you guys can try. Okay. I, these are all new tips and different things you guys can try. This is everything I've collected in data, things that have fixed other users' PCs, my PC. I'm playing, check out my live streams. I play Cold War Warzone. I play all of this live on stream. I stress my system out. I don't have any issues. I hope this, I really, really hope this helps you guys out. Check out my other videos and links down below. Check out the pinned comment in the description. I'm gonna link as much data as I can to possibly help you guys out. I'm Draco Regaming, just trying to help the gaming community here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell for when I go live. I hope this video helped you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Hey guys, I wanna personally thank you. Floyd Green, Wolfskin, Decipher, Gaming by Drimby, and Mista Gaming. Thank you so much for becoming part of the Draco Ray channel and becoming a member. We have Floyd Green as a Draconian warrior, Wolfskin as a Draconian soldier, Decipher as a Draconian elite top tier, Gaming by Drimby and Mista Gaming also soldiers. And thank you for supporting the channel so much. I appreciate you guys and we're all a big family here and we're building something great. And all of the gaming community and, and, and gaming with me online during the live streams, I really, really appreciate you guys. So I wanted to shout you guys out and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Appreciate it.